is a Betsy gun? Oh my god, this is pretty cool. Even, oh my god, that's a lot of stuff. There we go. Hey everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video. Today we are testing out if Terraria bosses can survive another weapon. And today's weapon is the termination nuke from the Terrarian's nuclear arsenal. New Oko rocket launcher fires a nuke that can kill any minute of the boss in one hit. Supreme Cal fears you. So as you can see off the bat, this weapon, this weapon tells us what it wants to accomplish and I'm ready to see it accomplish that. Now there's one thing about this and you know, there's a cool weapon. Uh, it doesn't really have a sprite as you can see. This is legit just like a PNG, but there's one thing I'm gonna have to warn you guys. Ready? If you got headphones on or if you just blast audio really loud get ready this is this is it right here I, damn that that killed something i don't know why this thing is so loud like i don't know what the mod dev was thinking it's not even funny like it doesn't make a funny noise it's just a loud obnoxious noise so that's like minus 10 already to this weapon but if it kills everything that's fine who cares right let's get right to it you already know who we're starting with come on maybe i should like stack a bunch of bosses on top of each other maybe that'll make it faster but it's a little hard to like you know pay attention when i'm attacking multiple bosses at once so let's just do king slime queen b you know the royalty get him out of here like, again i'm sorry if the audio's loud. I'll, I'll turn the audio down even more just to help your guys' ears out again don't know why the mod dev chose that it would be a good idea to have a loud noise like that on to our nighttime set of bosses here let's get skeletron let's get the eye how y'all doing boom get him out of here hopefully i don't accidentally kill something else because uh if, if i'm near the dungeon i might accidentally start up the lunar event so uh, you know i gotta be careful all right let's go ahead and take on the corruption and crimson bosses here now i expect this to hit everything flawlessly let me get like a good angle okay i feel like i i feel like i could have got a better angle and we could have killed it in one shot let me let me try again let me spawn it and then like right away go for it there we go see i knew it could do it all in one hit there's probably a couple weapons that we've done in the past and we haven't gotten you know a good angle to shoot with uh i guess real quick let, let's do lepus and turquoise since i saw both of them on the uh boss checklist there and then now let's go ahead and do the eater welcome let's see you later i'm not even oh my god that's a lot of stuff next up we got the wall flesh you know how it is uh you know eventually i should clean up all these boxes everywhere before they're legit just everywhere and covering everything but for now you know they add a lot of character to the world I'll, I'll leave them there all right let's take on the mech bosses what is up let's see if we can hit all three of them at once probably not okay we definitely hit the destroyer and i think we hit the retinazer there you go so i know people want me to go ahead and test out some of the fargo bosses yeah i guess we can add them to the list now uh we'll do the mutant and we'll do the deviant that's it and of course ek death but those those will be our two new additions to this series you know back when the series originally started i went through a lot of bosses i think i went through like almost every single boss in calamity but uh now you know we kind of just pick and choose certain ones uh mainly because we choose the ones that have damage caps on them but yeah let's go ahead and test the golem here i guess while we're at it we could test plantera at the same time might as well guy got, got a little framey there the game couldn't even handle that all right you know what time it is i'm gonna say it with you guys duke fish ron more like duke fish get the fuck out of here i had to change it up for the one time imagine you're chilling with the homies and some dude comes up and he fucking nukes you i'd be mad as hell well you wouldn't know i'd be mad as hell i'd probably be dead but yeah there you go there's the cultist get him out of here did i almost accidentally hit the solar pillar if i aimed it right i probably could have but boom there's the solar pillar there's the vortex one stardust and last but not least nebula all right moon lord got his top eye i wanted to get that out of the way got his right eye got his left eye and got his core now before you rush to the comments and go gamers you forgot the event bosses we're doing a different order i gotta change it up every now and then come on you guys know that you guys should know that by now dutchman which if you watched the last video with the minecraft texture pack beautiful texture pack make sure you guys check out that video that was a fun video let's go ahead and kill the dark mage do all the old ones army stuff here be on the floor though so it's a little bit easier you never know if i spawn what happens if i spawn him up high he spawns up high okay he's built different so go ahead and spawn in the ogre and last but not least betsy of course whoa what is this is a betsy gun oh my god this is pretty cool all right let us get our favorite tree brethren here the morning wood and of course ever scream oh 
uh oh they're doing it again gotta get them out of here i didn't even like position them that time they, they just did it on their own we got sand tank see you later and of course pumpkin got his ass before he ran away and the ice queen also gotta get her before she runs away and last but not least of course marco himself get him out of here all right abyssion let's see here let's start with the shell one Ooh, living with one health, of course. Very interesting. Let me let me even like back up a little bit. If I can hit him with uh, multiple ticks. Oh, there you go. Got to get him with the multiple ticks and it worked out fine. Uh, what about these two versions? All right, so the, the, the mid shell version would live too if I don't hit multiple ticks. But, uh, there you go. There's a Bisseon. Let us go ahead and summon in the Primordials. And uh, let me get like a good lineup here. I don't, I don't have the timing for when it starts. Oh, I, I, I missed it. I missed it by a little bit. It's all good. They still die just as quick. It is the time that we've been waiting for. Now, this weapon already says Supreme Cal fears us. So this should not be a problem here. Boom. There's dog. Where's your head at? Boom. We nuked his ass. And that's phase one. Phase two coming soon. There he is. Go ahead. Come on over here. Got his ass. All right. I'm honestly interested about how uh, Yarn is going to go here. Because, you know, Yarn, he's, he's an interesting uh, dude. He's an interesting dude. Just because the way his phases work. But let, let's see what happens. And just like that, he is gone. Okay. Very, very impressive so far. And last but not least from Calamity. Supreme Cal. I expect this to pretty much do the same thing it did to Yarin there. And that is just pretty much kill it. Butcher it pretty much. Can, can I do it now? No, of course not. So we might have to break her balls first. But at least we're breaking her balls. We get, the, we get to nuke us, the sepulcher here. Oh, Sepulcher, that means I can kill her now? Oh, I, I just learned that. I honestly just learned that right there. I thought I still had to kill her balls first. It's good to know new information, but there goes Supreme Cal. The weapon kept its promise in the description. You know, I've had a couple weapons that don't keep the promise. But yeah, on to the Fargo's bosses. For all the people that have wanted me to test it on the Fargo's bosses, uh, we have in the past, and I'm pretty sure we got the same outcome most of the time. But let's start with the uh, Deviant. Is it dead? I, I can't. And it's dead. Just like that. And then we got the mutant. Okay, the mutant took a hit right there. The mutant's taking a hit right there. I'm trying to remember what weapon we tested out on the mutant and it killed him. No problem. And sure to show that like second phase, that really cool like laser phase. I don't remember what weapon it was. But the mutant, he does have some cool phases. Like look at this. This does not look like something I'd want to fight. But yeah, let me just grab him and kill him with the Tome of Greater Manipulation. Of course. You know how the tome of greater manipulation is. But there you go. That that boss actually lives. So maybe the recommendation to fight the Fargo's bosses aren't that bad. The Deviant kind of got killed immediately though. All right. Before I forget, we got to do the Dungeon Guardian and we got to do the Eidolon Worm. I'm expecting both these guys to get killed. No problem. I hope. Yeah. Okay. And I'm hoping the Eidolon Worm dies. No problem. Because that means that to relog the world or die for it to despawn. Okay. Good. And now it is time for the finale the new finale what this is only like the third fourth episode we've done this ek death let's do it oh god i'm really scared ek death oh shit oh shit <laughs> ek death has defeated me once again thank you everybody for watching another episode make sure to check out the weapon in the mod of course terrarians nuclear arsenal maybe i'll do a video on the rest of the items from the mod you never know you never know. There's a good bit of stuff. There's things like this. The Galaxy Shredder. A, gal a gigantic nuke that deals massive damage but doesn't break tiles. Honestly, we could probably make a whole video off of that too. But yeah, you know how it is with me and making videos about exploding things. You know, it's, it's bound to happen eventually. But yeah, make sure you guys leave some more suggestions. We're kind of running low on weapons that insta-kill, for being honest. At least ones that break uh calamity's damage caps so we might have to start checking out some really strong weapons that nearly insta kill but don't break caps we might have to just check out a few of them just to you know have some filler episodes but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already we're almost at 300k once i hit 300k follow my twitch because on my twitch we'll be doing a face cam live stream and we're gonna have a fun time we'll probably play some sort of dumb challenge in terraria to go along with the face cam stream but yeah i'll see y'all next time hope you guys enjoyed